Hi, this is Shannon Knapp, President of Invicta Fighting Championships, and you're listening to WMMA Scene Now. Why go anywhere else? All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with some news out of Invicta Fighting Championship. So the all-ladies mixed martial arts promotion has announced their return for July 2nd in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, they'll be working with the Kansas State Athletic Commission. No location was given, though most likely it's Memorial Hall. They seem to I probably have a contract with them. Uh, they... The article on their website announced that they will have a COVID-19 uh, prevention protocol in place. They will said they'll give more details on that later. Uh, there will be no media or crowd in attendance for this event. Of course, it'll be an, um, streamed live via UFC Fight Pass. Uh, looking at the card, they announced six fights so far. For the main event at Strawweight, Emily Ducote, Eight and six, taking on Juliana Lima. Ten and six. Now, Ducote, if I remember correctly, is coming off a loss to Kaneko Murata for the vacant strawweight title, whereas Juliana Lima is coming off a loss to Brianna Van Buren in the second round of the Phoenix Series One tournament. Uh, for the co-main event in Adam Weight. Alicia Zapatella, 6-2, taking on Lindsay Van Zant, 7-3. Very excited for this one. Two of fighters I have been keeping an eye on myself. Uh, Zapatella coming off a win over Kelly D'Angelo at Invicta 39 back in February, whereas Van Zant, I believe, right, she has not fought since New Year's Eve, coming off a loss to Reina Kubota. Very excited, looking forward to that one. Very excited about it. Uh, another interesting fight at Flyweight. Deanna Bennett, 10, 6, and 1, taking on Victoria Leonardo, 6, and 2. Bennett is coming off a loss to Miranda Maverick in the finals of the Phoenix Series 2 tournament. Leonardo is coming off a loss to Aaron Blanchfield at Invicta 39 back in February. That should be a good fun stand-up bat battle. I'm expecting good things out of that fight as well. Then we have a featherweight fight. Chelsea Chandler, 2-1, and one, taking on Olivia Parker, 4-0. and oh. Chandler is a three-time Invicta vet. All of her previous fights have been at bantamweight, so she is moving up in weight to take on Parker. Parker is 4-0. and oh. uh, If you're active on MMA Twitter, you might have come across her. She posts almost daily talking about the featherweight division, trying to convince someone to sign her. So she finally got picked up by Invicta. Don't have anything positive to say about her record other than she's undefeated. Not very impressed with who she's fought so far. Then we have a fly, another flyweight fight, Claire Guthrie, one and O. Oh, Taking on Laura Anderson, 2-0. Guthrie last fought in her pro debut. I'm sorry. Had a successful pro debut against Jordan Kaze at Invicta 37 back in October. Then she lost at in, I believe, the first round of the Invicta Phoenix Series 3 tournament, which was just an exhibition fight. Anderson, this is her Invicta debut. Coming off a TKO win in the first round over Natalie Morgan in, at Fight Club OC. And then the final fight is a, another strawweight fight. Jenia Gooden, 1-0, taking on Shelby Corwin, making her pro debut. Uh, Gooden is coming off her successful pro debut over Valerie Wong at Invicta 35 last June. So it'll be... Over a year, just over a year since her pro debut. Shelby Corrin making her pro debut, coming in with a 7 and 0 amateur record. So, six fights, nice variety. Um, so, is this the most impressive card from Invicta FC? Uh, no, I mean, there's a lot to like here, but it's far from, you know, peak. Invicta events. I mean, there's no title fight. The I would say the Adam Weight fight could have title implications. Could. Um, 
but nothing that's gonna be nothing that's none of these fights have like bring like a lot of weight into them but there's some good matchups I mean as far as a matchmaking goes they're they're pretty nice looking fights here uh, so only six fights so far hopefully Invicta will announce another one or two maybe even it out at eight that'd be really nice uh, very much looking forward to Invicta FC being back I'm pretty happy about it myself uh, anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of course likes are always appreciated and hey what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WM Macy Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.